They call me Squirrel. What's going on over here on the other side of Squirrel? I got sent this video called How Not to Make an Electric Guitar, The Hazards of Electricity. And um, I got sent over to me a couple weeks ago. It was right around COVID time, so I apologize. I can't remember who sent it. Raise your hand in the comments below and take credit because we're about to watch your video. And I figured this belonged over on the other side of Squirrel because it's uh, electric guitar. It's music related. So... Let's uh, check this out and find out how not to make an electric guitar. I actually have some buddies that have made electric guitars over the years, and uh, I know a friend of mine who made one in carpentry shop when we were in school. It came out badass, really, really cool. So let's check out the, uh, the way not to make them, I guess. Here we go. Hi, how to make an electric guitar? Well, I don't know, but from the name of it, it's just a combination of guitar and electricity. Here's a simple one I made. Here's the basic electric guitar I made with four strings. We can add more strings if you want to. Strings are just wires stretched over a piece of wood, tied to nails on each end. The wires at this end are tied together in pairs as you can see, and each pair is attached to one of these cables, which we can... I don't think this is how an electric guitar works. Uh, he's putting current... Uh... Plug them into the wall power plug. Yeah, what the fuck? That ain't gonna work. Oh, this is gonna suck. Please join me for the first time to hear how it sounds. And one, two, three, four. Yeah. It definitely made me sound like a rock star, although it feels more like an electric chair than a guitar. It is extremely dangerous to touch the 110 volt or 200. What the fuck is this? <laughs> 120 volt power lines. You can easily get killed. And believe me, nothing is worth touching a power line. When touching a power line, a few different things can happen. If you're wearing your plastic slippers that isolate you from ground and then touch the live wire, you still feel it, although it's not too bad. Because although you are DC isolated, you are not completely AC isolated, as there is still some capacitance between your body and ground. In some cases, due to the shock and the pain, your body can react fast. If you touch the live and neutral wires both, it's very dangerous because the circuit closes through your body. Your muscles can contract this allowing you to let go. If the current goes through your vital organs, like your heart or peanut, um, brain, you will very likely meet your maker. Whoa. 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 I am your father. Margaret Thatcher? The funny thing is that they <laughs> use electricity to save a cardiac arrest victim. Clear! If you are barefoot and touch the live wire, <laughs> the current funny. can again go through your body to ground and kill you. It can also contract your leg muscles and make you jump. <laughs> it's a pity though. I thought I could share my artistic side with you. <laughs> I forgot to unplug the damn thing. It definitely made me behave like a rock star though. Makes me think of the similarities. It's obvious the problem is the electric guitar. Don't use the guitar. Uh, wow, that's one sick ass unibrow. Um, I, this guy's great. I don't know why he likes to shock himself, but uh, that's like I refuse to do anything with electricity because I'm so afraid of getting shocked. Oh gosh, I don't. I do that to the, to the professionals, like uh, well, apparently like this guy. Uh, so that was how not to make an electric guitar. I hope you enjoyed it. It was funny. It was short. Uh, it wasn't as music related as I expected it to be, but it was still pretty damn funny. So I hope you guys enjoyed it up here on the other side of Squirrel. Uh, let me know what you thought, and uh, you know, I don't know. I'll catch you soon, I guess. Till next time, Squirrel out. Mm -hmm.